Hi guys, it's Evelyn. Just coming on to do a quick one year, nine month update on my locks. As you can see, they've considerably grown. A quick shot for you. I haven't settled in my place yet, so I haven't got my camera. In fact, I just had to go and buy a power adapter for my camera battery charger. So it's actually charging as we speak. Donna. <laughs> so, and I've lost the stand that I used to hold uh, my iPhone in the camera stand, so I have to hold it. So it's going to be a quick one, but I had a look to see the last time I did a lock update, and it was about eight months ago for my one year lock anniversary. And I did intend to come and do three month updates, and it's this year and last year went by so quickly. So it's now currently uh, one year and nine months for my second time round of my locks. And as you know, I started with braid locks and I interlock to retighten. And thankfully, they're not as tiny as I expected them to be. They've thickened out quite well. And you can see there is a lot, much more length. I'll probably put in a clip of what I did look like at one year to the side. Let me move. So I'll put it right there. So you can see it has really grown. I can do the shake. I can actually put it up in a ponytail and it all stays up. And it's quite a big uh, amount of hair. But now I'm enjoying this journey this time round. It's been so much easier. I know what to do. I just know that I don't really have to pay too much attention to it. I retighten the same as before, so if I find a few uh, loose ones, I will retighten those. I don't do the whole lot in one go. I mean, occasionally I might sit down and do it all in one go, but generally I haven't done. Um, and it's going well. Let's see if I can do a 360. Probably not going to be a good one. No, not a very good one, but so I can give you mm -hmm, maybe a leg shape, but it's just so it's just below my nose. Um, although the end is still a little bit. It's not locked fully, but it is definitely more locked than it was last eight months ago. My long one, my little ones at the side are growing. This one's growing really long. I think it was only about here last time, so it's grown quite fast. And the one behind it is actually caught up with it. And I know you always see these long ones. You can't really see it today. I have these two extra long ones, yeah, here. They're still, they're still extra long, but the rest is catching up with it, so that's great. I generally don't do any styles with it, I just have my hair out as it is. Sometimes I will do uh, braid outs, um, but generally I just have it straight, I don't even tie it back. Um, and if, when I'm doing my running, I just have a headband on to keep it out, but I'm noticing that the back it's starting to get caught in uh, my jackets when I'm running so I will have to start tying it up to get it out of the way which I'm happy about that means it's growing um, but you know it's been fun the only difference is the shampoo that I use I use this shampoo here so it's the Palmer's coconut oil formula and it's coconut oil conditioning shampoo for dry damaged or color treated hair it gives it so much moisture it smells gorgeous like coconut so this is my new staple uh, conditioning shampoo it's the only shampoo I don't condition and it does the job really well so that's the only new thing to add to my uh, regime uh, again I'm so happy that I did go back to locks and uh, I have no reason to take them out again so locks are here to stay I was talking to a friend about how long I want to grow them although they are growing 
they're not going that far so I have a long way to decide but I would be happy when they're at least shoulder length and if they get to strap, bra strap length then I'll start to trim them. I don't want them right down to my bum or anything. But uh, the fact that it's got this far, I'm really happy. So they're gonna stay. All right, thanks for checking out my channel and uh, subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.